Welcome back, everybody. Boy, it's a rare two video day. And really, I'm just going to expand on the last video. The videos here with substance just aren't getting, they're, they're just not getting any traction. It's just a little tiny channel. But uh, um, so in the coming collapse, I guess this is what I wanted to talk about. Where is your money? What are you buying right now? Yeah, absolutely. In my opinion, in my opinion, and I, I'm biased just because I've I've been awake for 15 years and I kind of sense how close we are to the economic cliff. What are you doing with your assets and your cash? Honestly, if you're sitting in liquid assets like cash and crypto, I'd recommend you get physical real quick. You know, and you just kind of have to extrapolate forward. What are they going to be putting restrictions on? What is going to be difficult to buy when it goes to a CDC? Okay. A centralized digit, you know, digital currency. This currency that we're going to be given is going to be programmed. You're not going to be able to buy anything and everything you want. You're not. Okay. We are slipping into hell. <laughs> so while we still have a sliver of freedom with how we spend our money. You should be getting out of cash. I mean, big time. And this is, I'll just tell you what I'm buying. Okay. Firearms, munitions, ammunition. There's a whole variety of calibers I think people should be in. You know, I'll probably get shit over this, but 22 long rifle is absolutely should be in the stockpile. Nine millimeter should be in the stockpile. Two, two, three, five, five, six. Um, absolutely has to be there. You know, your AR 10, 308, 762, um, by 54, those absolutely have to be in your, in your pile. Has to be. Okay. For the most economical, they have the most platforms. Uh, I mean, they're deer, they're deer rifles and, you know, the AR-10 platforms, a hell of a battle rifle. So, really, I mean, th I mean, those are just the bare minimum calibers I think you should have. Um, and, you know, it's for defense and for hunting purposes and for bartering purposes. You know, absolutely. Uh, I think you should have 12-gauge slugs, buckshot, absolutely. Needs to be in the stockpile. <laughs> You know, then we can go down a whole, you know, there's a whole nother road of, you know, a whole nother philosophy on investing in ammunition. You know, there just is. Um, I mean, you can go big caliber, um, you know, seven millimeter. You can go six, five Creedmoor. You can go, you know, on down the line with, you know, I mean, pick it. I kind of would stick in my lane of things that I understand and know, and that's kind of how I invest. I don't, you know, I, I don't dabble in shit that I don't understand. I understand this market. So I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. Uh, tools building materials, supplies, you know, I understand if you're in an apartment or, you know, you're in a small space, you, you know, you really can't store that shit, but you can store tools. You can store screws, nails, hammers, basic building tools and supplies that I'm telling you are going to be expensive. And don't tell me when people are looking to build barns and sheds, et cetera, you know, those things are not going to be in short supply. They will. Um, you know, there's a million different routes you can go. It just depends on your finances and what you have access to. <laughs> um, you know, there's just, there, there's so many things where you can, where you can park your money. I think that's going to be safer than cash, safer than crypto. Um, and I like things that I can break down into barter, you know, into a uh, barter size. You know, I mean, think about your ammunition, think about your screws, think about your, your, your nails, you just things like that can be broken down into smaller piles and bartered. You know, absolutely. I think gold and silver uh, should be close to the top of the list. You know, they've been around and been a commodity for thousands of years. Um, they're not going anywhere. Now, are all these markets manipulated? Absolutely. Crypto, stock market, you name it. It's all it's all manipulated. But. I do believe in holding physical, tangible assets. You know, I really do. Um, you know, and then, 
You know, I mean, we can go on from there. If you have the space, don't tell me that sawmills are not going to be valuable commodities. They're going to be. You know, I mean, there's 10, 15,000, you know, again, it just depends on your finances. You can get a Woodmiser LT15 for, you know, depending on what motor you get with it from anywhere from ten to $15,000 brand new. And you can find them used, you know, but they're holding their value even in the used market unless they're beat to shit. Um, you know, air tools, et cetera, generators, chainsaws, you know, they're valuable. Chainsaws, you know, um, chains, for God's sakes. I mean, you get down to the brass tacks, you could do a hell of a lot of work with a chainsaw. So, it, you know, I was just having this thought, you know, where, where, what people should be doing, getting out of cash, you know, and I know I'm speaking to kind of a small audience here, but um, it's just my thought. You know, I, I've got this sneaking suspicion something's coming sooner rather than later. Um, and I don't usually talk like that. I don't usually think, you know, doom and gloom is right around the corner. I don't. But, you know, I've said it before, my spidey senses are, are going off here. You know, just it, it's because you got the looming 24 election and you have so many different panic buttons that can be pushed from an escalated war in Ukraine with Russia, which I which I do believe is their number one. Um, and I do believe it's going to be compounded with an economic collapse, which has already begun. You know, they've got all the infrastructure, you know, they've got all the, the detonators there, you know, ready to ready to blow like in, you know, the 9-11 towers. I mean, things are <laughs> I mean, they're ready to push the button. It just needs to be time. And I don't know that it's quite time at this moment, but uh, I, I do believe here uh, in fairly short order, you know, I'm talking 18 months, a year. 18 months, you know, I, I, I do believe we're not that far off. So it's probably why this is continuing to be one of the underpinnings of my videos is what to do with cash and the, you know, the economic collapse. I just think that's going to be the cherry on top of the Russia war that they're dying to get us into because these bastards cannot relinquish power. They cannot relinquish power, you know, and there are war provisions in there that if they did drag us into a hot war with Russia that they can push to indefinitely suspend the election during wartime, during a crisis, which, you know, they create all the crisis for reasons, for their own purposes, you know. Uh, but anyways, kind of going off on a little bit of a rant, but um, I guess that's all I got for you. This is a long video, so I'm not going to go on much longer, so... Uh, Take it easy. If you got anything from this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyways. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry for my language. I'm trying. So take care, everybody. See ya.